Hello fellow YouTubers, I'm back with another video. Um, I just wanted to share some information with you, try and answer some of the questions I had when I first started mining. Um, I'm currently running 176.5 terahash approximately, and I'm gonna break down the cost of electricity, uh, my pool fee, and my initial startup costs, and I'm just gonna show you a, a quick uh, look around at my setup, and then I'm just gonna give you the information that you need that might get you started into mining and kind of uh, what you can expect uh, to make in Bitcoin per day and the equivalent in uh, fiat. So on the other side of my basement here, I have uh, two miners set up. I got a couple of fans going and trying to disperse the air from the corner. Uh, right here, I have my immersion cooled um, S19J, uh, 90 terahash. And additionally, I know it's loud, I hope you can hear me. I'm running my Avalon 1246 miner. I'm venting that straight outside. It's a uh, cold Canadian winter here in Northwestern Ontario where I live. So getting rid of the heat uh, isn't really an issue at this time of the year. Uh, however, I, the reason I'm venting this one outside is because it was actually just getting too hot in this corner. So I'm just using the heat of my immersion cooled setup. Uh, to help heat my house, I actually have that hooked up to uh, a filter right up here in the top of my roof, just taking some of that warm air. And I got an inline fan here, and then I'm actually taking some of that and I'm pumping it back into my uh, ventilation system and into my heating system and uh, helping heat my house to reduce my uh, heating costs in the winter. So yeah, that's my setup. Uh, and between uh, these two miners here, I'm running 176.5 terahash approximately on slush pool. And I'm gonna break down the numbers and uh, tell you what I make. And if you guys haven't seen any of my other uh, content so far, uh, I'm just gonna give you a quick breakdown if you're curious at what kind of temperatures and stuff I'm running in this room. Uh, so I'm just gonna show you over here. This is my uh, ambient air temperature, uh, 78.4 degrees. Fahrenheit, um, pretty, pretty uh, cool temperature. Again, there's my immersion setup. And then my Avalon that's pumping straight outside. And here's my probes that are connected to my immersion setup. And I try and keep it right at 40 degrees. And right now I'm running at 39.8 degrees. And just what knowing uh, from knowing what I know so far about immersion cooling, I know that my PCB temperatures with that ambient uh, and the fluid temperature will give me approximately the mid 60s, so about 65 degree PCB temps, and that's all. Okay, here I'm just going to show you my dashboard for my Avalon miner. This one's currently running in air right now because uh, I don't have a big enough rad to support the two units. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to show you the hash rate and more importantly the uh, PCB temp rates because it's hard to find for the Avalons and mine's been running happy at these temperatures. And here's my S19. There's a lot more information out there on these, but I just wanted to show you uh, what it's hashing at. I'm getting about 91,500 uh, giga hash or 91.5 terahash. And we'll eventually scroll down here and it's hard to see because it's on my phone and it's not optimized for this, but uh, the temps are roughly uh, mid upper 60s right now and that'll just uh, go up or down a little bit depending on the ambient air temperature and here's my slush pool dashboard you can see my scoring hash rate at the top that's going to vary up or down I actually have two workers online the one green check mark there uh, but they're the same worker name so they only show up as one and then you can see the uh, range of satoshis at the bottom uh, approximately 40 to 90 thousand with my current uh, setup and now we'll get into uh, what that converts to in fiat so here's the time of use uh, hydro pricing I have in Northwestern Ontario. There's off, mid and on peak hours uh, based on a chart. So I got to do the math on this. So I've written everything out in the chalkboard. Um, I'm not going to go through and explain it all, but uh, if you do want to pause the video, uh, I've tried to make it as clear as possible how I did the math and came up with the numbers, just in case you have some sort of similar situation uh, where you need to calculate uh, your kilowatt hour cost hopefully you just get a number and you can just plug it into a profitability calculator and you don't have to go through all these steps 
But I exercised the brain a little bit and went through all the steps. So you can just see I uh, broke down the hours first on a weekly basis because that's how they're laid out in the chart. And then got a percentage uh, for the off-peak hours as well as the median and on-peak hours. I then took those into fractions and I came up with the uh, 10.4 cents a kilowatt hour in Canadian, which converts to 8.2 cents a kilowatt hour in USD, which is a pretty awesome rate uh, by global standards. And you can see my miners below 3150 and 3350 watts approximately, a total of 6,500 watts. And you just plug those into the math here uh, over a 30 day period, 720 hours, calculate by the percentage to get your amount of hours. And then you can calculate your cost times your wattage. And that's going to get you your on and off peak total numbers. And the total electricity cost for the month, I then take my terahash total, 176.5 terahash. I just plugged that into the calculator to get my total monthly profit through the pool minus my uh, slush pool fee. So I get $1,038.93. I subtract my rate and I get $654.92 using the current uh, Bitcoin price of around $42,000 USD. And then you can just see all of my breakdown of my initial startup costs. And I use those numbers to get my ROI number, which at the current price of Bitcoin is 34 and a half months. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I just want to put a little bit of information out there on what you can expect uh, after you factor in the cost of electricity and your equipment costs. Uh, so I hope I was able to bring that to you and just something as basic as just showing basic as showing you guys the dashboards and what those look like and my temperatures on the miners that I'm running. Um, Cause I know I even struggled to find that. And I was like, can somebody just show me what your PCB temperatures are in your unit? Cause I have no clue what I'm doing. So, um, I still barely have a clue what I'm doing. I'm learning tons every day from the community members and everybody on uh, YouTube and the Reddit community has been super helpful. So if you guys have any questions about uh, immersion mining, uh, please ask in the uh, comment section below. We can link up on some other platform. I'm always willing to help out with that. Um, as you can see with my setup, I'm fortunate enough to get a price of uh, 8.2 cents a kilowatt hour uh, where I'm located. So I'm able to stay profitable even when Bitcoin goes to a pretty low margin. And for me, it's, uh, it's, it doesn't bother me anyways if the price of Bitcoin goes up or down. So it's gonna be volatile and it's a long-term investment. And I'm sure for many of you, it's also a long-term investment if you're getting into the mining portion of it anyways. Uh, so yeah, I hope I answered uh, some of your questions. If you like the content, uh, just like uh, and comment below and happy hashing.